Hey everyone! Welcome back to Maru's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I decided to kind of try to do the voice offer with the video, so we will see how that works out. Also, if you can hear stomping in the background, it's my dog. I hope you don't mind. I will show her to you at the end of the video. So as you can see here, we have another Born Pretty haul, and they were kind enough to send me another PR package this month. So we're gonna go ahead and open everything. It's some new products that they came out with recently, and I'm super excited to give this a try. And I'm also super, super excited to create a Christmassy kind of like winter look. Excuse my bare nails. I removed my gel tips that I had on, and they just look horrendous right now. So yeah, let's get started with the first product it's this pretty pretty colored gel and I'm always super excited to give this a try because they're super pigmented for a more affordable brand Born Pretty really has good quality products and I like them a lot okay okay so the color is Born Pretty 82 and the color is oh this is beautiful wow <laughs> I really like this color it's so pretty we're definitely using it today so that's the first one okay then it's this one this is a matte top coat and I've also been really looking forward to trying this. Okay, after struggling to open this for a good five minutes, finally have it open. So this is a mad matte eggshell top coat. This looks so pretty. I love their packaging always. I just love the gold accents that they have. And if you've never seen it before, it looks like this. It kind of like creates an eggshell effect and I just really really like it next up we have let's see what is the next product they sent me a reflective glitter flash gel in 06 oh wow oh my god I think this is honestly one of the most beautiful gels I have ever seen in my life. Okay, I am in love with this. We're also using this today. Okay, next up we have... Let's see. We have two more to open. This is watercolor nail gel. I have no idea what this is. These are so hard to open. Also, I scratched the cappy. I scratched the cappy by accident. Oh, this is a clear. Huh, it's very thick. Oh, you know what? I think this is actually one of those blooming gels. Like the, the ones that you create that crocodile effect thing with. I don't know if you can see me on the packaging. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll give this a try as well. Probably not in this video. Last but not least, what else do we have here? We have reflective glitter top coat. Top coat. I haven't seen this either. This looks so interesting. I'm trying to find an entrance point for the exacto knife. Okay, let's see. Ooh, oh, this is pretty. Okay, this is super subtle. I don't know if you can see it very well. I believe you can. I think the camera is picking it up better than honestly my eyes. <laughs> oh, it looks so pretty. It's beautiful, I love it. And this will go amazing over nude nails with snowflakes on them. I just already have that idea in mind and we are going for this today. 
um, so once again these are the products that they sent me this month and I'm super happy and grateful for all of them and I'm also super excited to get into the video now and just kind of create what I have in mind so now we're jumping back into me voiceovering this video later on while I'm editing it. So as you can see, I'm using the iBeauty Lead tips that I used on my previous stiletto video as well. They're really nice quality tips. I'm going to go ahead and just pick the right sizes for all of the nails. And since I am only going to be using uh, the rubber base coat that you will see later on, Underneath this, to adhere it to my nail instead of nail glue, I will just go ahead and pick the exact sizes I'm not sizing up for these as I would for uh, the Lazy Girl method. So here you can see I'm just applying a small amount of the base coat and I'm just adhering it and putting it under the nail lamp. You can see that I've already prepped and primed my nails. I removed the cuticle skin. My cuticles need a little bit more uh, help, but I took care of it later with some cuticle oil and a soft file that I have for smoothing out the cuticle area. So I will just go ahead and repeat the same process for all of the nails. So after all of the nails have been cured, I went ahead and I added a very thin layer of the base coat to the rest of the nail. As you can see, it's clear and this is not mandatory, but since I'm using this nude color, I wanted to make sure that the top coat or rather the coat that I will use on top of the nail uh, from the base coat will look good. So I went ahead and applied a layer of that. And then on top of it, I applied a layer of non-wipe top coat and you can see I did smudge it at, at a few points I touched my skin but I cleared it so make sure you do that as well and here I've already applied the second layer of the base coat and I also applied the tips on my other nail without the second layer of base coat so that it wouldn't be sticky and taking my nail stamper I will go ahead and apply a nice quality of this beautiful blue color from Born Pretty and I'm going to use the stamper method to create a French design as you can see it's super simple you can see it's a little bit streaky on the top because this nail was long and I didn't put enough polish on the stamper I went ahead and I dipped it a couple more times and then I fixed it with my brush but I didn't really care about these nails being very opaque because I will do a sweater nail design on top of them so I didn't really care about how intense the color was so I'm going to go ahead and repeat this same uh, design on two more fingers. After those have cured, I'm going to cover just the tips of the nails with some of my matte uh, top coat. And for the two remaining nails, I'm going to apply two layers of the reflective glitter gel that just shocked me so much. It was so gorgeous. I still look at it and I'm in awe at how gorgeous and reflective it is. I just love it. I could go on all day about how much I love this color and how much I loved wearing the set. I usually remove them after the videos are done because my main job is uh, a copywriter. So I spend a lot of hours on the keyboard and I can't really work with long na nails. But I kept these on and I did shorten them throughout the week a little bit. But I just loved having these on so much. They're so sparkly. The next part that we're going to be working on is the sweater design. You can see here I just used the cap of my stamp and a thin detail brush. 
and I went ahead and I pretty much outlined the French line that I created and then I added some sweater details. You can add any type of details you want and make the design your own or copy mine, whatever you enjoy the most. And after you have gone ahead and added all of the little lines and designs that you want, you will cover it with clear acrylic powder and tap it so you can get some of the excess of the powder off and then just cure it in your lay lamp and it's done. Sweater nails are super easy. <laughs> I've done quite a few videos on them and this year I'm kind of obsessed with them. So you will probably see them in another video, but I will try to make a more intricate design, more like advanced. So I'm super excited for that as well. Let me know if you like that idea. I will just continue creating these beautiful designs on the rest of the nails and I will get back to you in a second. So after all of our gorgeous sweater designs have been cured, I'm going to go ahead and use this beautiful uh, stamping plate that I got from Cristiano Artesio. And I will use this half snowflake design and put it right in the middle of the nail. I just think it looks so cute. And you can see it transferred perfectly. I cleaned around the excess and I copied the same design on my thumb as well. I just thought it went so well with this theme and added so much to the glittery nails. And on top of this, I actually decided to add a layer of that reflective glitter top coat that Born Pretty sent me. I know it's a lot of sparkle and don't get me wrong, I cannot ever have enough sparkle on my nails. So this was perfect for me. <laughs> And of course, on top of all of the sparkle that we added, it's time for blink. And I had this beautiful different shades of blue kind of crystals that I wanted to use today. So I got my Vanalisa nail glue. I added some right on the spot where I wanted the rhinestone design to be placed. I also top coated this without curing it, making sure that I don't touch the sweater design that took so much time to create and look so cute. And then I started placing all of my rhinestones and I wanted to kind of create a freehand design that included a lot of different blue shades. I thought this would go really well with this look. So here you can see I tried adding some <laughs> caviar beads and they went flying down my desk or rolling down my desk, I guess. So I just also added some of these <laughs> and I thought they looked really cute. They kind of reminded me of snowflakes when this design was done. And for this nail, I just added some glossy top coat right on the part that I needed it without touching the snowflake design, the sweater design, sorry. And I also repeated the same step with the Vanalisa nail glue on my last finger. For the last two nails, I used some of uh, a more liquid consistency gem glue. I used my nail as a scoop to take out some of those tiny silver rhinestones and I added them in the middle of the snowflakes. After 
after everything was cured and securely in place, I added some cuticle oil to nourish my cuticles, which needed some extra love. And here's the finished look! I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was so much fun to make. I absolutely love the products that I received from this month's Born Pretty PR package. So if you enjoyed this video as well, make sure to leave a like and a comment telling me what you thought and subscribe for more videos every single Tuesday. I am super excited to keep up the Christmas designs for this season. So make sure you subscribe so you keep up with all of the designs that I will be posting over the next few weeks. And you can see here how they look when they reflect with the flashlight. They look so cute. So, so once again, thank you so much for watching and thank you to Born Pretty for the products. And here's a sneaky little video of my dog, Milu. Bye! <laughs> Milu go.